Hi guys, welcome to Aston Martin Uptown Toronto. We have a really special episode for you today because we're gonna be configuring a very, very cool Aston Martin DB11 Volante. However, we're gonna do it a little bit differently than before because we're gonna be using Aston Martin's custom Q branch to make some really, really special things happen. So let's dive into the configurator. First and foremost, we have the Volante. I mean, it's a gorgeous car as it is, but we're gonna start things off with a really, really bold statement in color. Now, Aston Martin has five different tiers of colors. You have primary, you have Aston Martin contemporary, you have Aston Martin special, and then you have two different levels of Q paints. Q uh, and then Q exclusive paints. Q exclusive is the highest end paint you can get without going to a satin finish on Aston Martin. So we're gonna dive into this section here, which is called Q palette. All these new colors pop up. These are part of either the uh, Q or Q exclusive collection of colors. So what is a Q exclusive color? Essentially what a Q exclusive color is, is a color that requires more time to paint. So instead of a regular paint job on an Aston Martin, which, and we talk about regular, regular is 70 hours to paint and requires seven different paint layers to actually accomplish. A Q exclusive color is 300 hours. It also has to be painted at an entirely separate production facility. The facility that at one time built the 177 hypercar. All very, very cool stuff. Now, what kind of color are we gonna do for Volante? I have a sneaking suspicion, golden saffron will look stunning. Now this is a color that is totally different than anything you would expect on an Aston Martin. Golden saffron is this beautiful uh, orange color, which essentially is the brightest orange we can get on an Aston. Now, this sort of idea came to me when I was in UK with a buddy of mine uh, who works at one of the dealers in the United States. He got one of the allocations for the Zagato Coupe and chose to configure that car in this incredible golden saffron. So once I had seen photos of this, I sort of knew we had to do this on a special car. And I figured the Volante would be a great opportunity to do that. So there we have it, golden saffron. Moving on, let's talk about the splitter, diffuser, and side sills. Now again, we have the choice of the graphite, we have the choice of the carbon fiber, and we also have the choice of gloss black. I think grounding this car, we gotta go with gloss black. It's gonna really nicely accent the color of the vehicle. Next, rims. As you guys know, Aston Martin introduced an entirely new style of rim that is exclusively available on the DB11 Volante. This new forged gloss black diamond turned. We have to do this on this car because I think it's gonna complement it beautifully. However, I did sort of have a toss up. Do we go with the 20 inch 10 spoke directional gloss and black diamond turn wheels? Because I still think those are gorgeous. But on this car, I think the way to do it was with these new wheels. Next, we have brake calipers. So the brake calipers on this vehicle, we don't wanna give too much of a statement with these because usually that's what a brake caliper is. It's a statement piece. You go yellow, you go red, you know, really, really accent it. So what we've decided to do is we're gonna go black painted here. Next, we have the roof color. This part is really, really important that we go subtle. We don't wanna do something out there like go with a red roof on an orange car. So we're gonna leave it as black. And then we have the screen surround. So the screen surround on this particular car, again, because we wanna have that very, very aggressive and assertive look, we decided to go black. You can see the screen surround adjust itself here. The waist tail finisher. So what this is, the waist rail rather, is the whole section that goes right around the outside of the car. Again, gotta have a match, so we're gonna go with black. Next is the mirror caps. We're gonna leave the mirror caps body color, because again, I think those, those are really add to the, uh, to the exterior of the car but we do have the option of doing them in black. The next option is the exterior finisher pack. So the exterior finisher pack, for those of you who don't know, is a whole host of different exterior components in the car. We have the side vents, we have the front grille, and essentially what we can do is we can change all of these to either a bright, a dark, or a Q-carbon uh, option. And this particular one, we're gonna go with the dark finish. We have the option of choosing black meshes or titanium meshes for the actual air vents that are on top of the hood of the vehicle. In this case, we want everything to match again, so we're gonna choose black. Next, we have the door releases. There is an option here to do carbon fiber, so if you've decided to configure your DB11 with tons of carbon on the outside, you've done your splitter, you've done your rear diffuser, you've done your side sills, you can even do your door handles in carbon fiber, though it is a very expensive option. In this case, we're gonna leave it just body colored. 
Now, the taillights. So for those of you who have seen my configuration video of our demo, the DB11 Volante, you'll know that we went with those beautiful red taillights to match the red leather interior on that car. Now, because this vehicle's interior is gonna be a little bit different, and then in addition to that, the exterior is so bold on this car, I want those taillights to just beautifully um, go in and mix in with the rest of the rear of the car. So that being the case, we're gonna go smoked rear taillights. All right, given the choice between doing those red tail lamps and then also a smoke tail lamp, I think smoke tail lamps will look better on this car, especially because we don't have contradicting colors on the rear of the vehicle. We wanna make it nice and simple and also properly show off that beautiful color to the best that we can. Next, we have the interior. So the interior on this car, because we've gone with such a bold exterior, I wanna make sure the, sim the interior is simple. So the sections that we wanna accent are gonna be very, very small, but those will really showcase the craftsmanship on the inside. Let's dive in. So the environment split. We're gonna go with a monotone environment on this car because we're gonna use just a single color for the entire interior. Next, we have the leather type. So again, we have three different uh, types of leather that we can use on the inside. Strathmore, Balmoral, and Cathanus. Cathanus gives us the most selection for leather colors. So with that being the case, we're gonna go Cathanus interior. Now, we actually get to the color portion. The colors are so many that are available on the inside of this car. But again, with us having such a bold exterior color, we need to make the interior grounded, essentially. So with that being the case, I had two colors in mind. classic obsidian black leather, and then also pure black. Now, pure black has a little bit of a shine to it, whereas the classic obsidian black is got almost like a satin finish. So with that being the case, we decided to go with an obsidian for the entire interior. I'll select it here. Next, we have stitching. So the stitching, again, I want this car to seem stealth on the inside. So we will do a stitch, but the stitch is not gonna be contrasted. We're gonna go black for everything. Now we do have to choose the black color though. In this case, it's gonna be Raven Black. We're doing heated and ventilated front seats with power seat bolsters in our Canadian economy and market. We definitely wanna have those heated seats. We're gonna choose to have Nexus quilting matched to stitch on the inside of the interior. So the Nexus quilt work, if you've never seen it before, is absolutely beautiful. Here's sort of a demonstration of what it will look like when we actually get the final product. We have this beautiful stitch work on the inside and we're gonna have our celestial perforations which will go on the inside of those stitches. Now, here is how we're gonna make the interior really, really special. With something that DB11 has called broguing. Now, as the name suggests, this is very similar to something that you would see on designer shoes. Essentially, broguing is a craftsmanship technology of leather on leather. So, what that actually looks like is like this. This is the interior armrest on a DB11 that's been broged. So essentially how it works is there are four people at the factory and they were responsible all day for taking pieces of leather and attaching it to other pieces of leather. They take them out with giant scissors and literally cut them out together. It's incredible when you see them do this in person. Now, in this case, we have obsidian black with a spicy red brogue, but on this particular vehicle, we're gonna do it with orange. We're gonna do it with the most vibrant and exciting orange we have available to us, which is California poppy. So we've selected brogue, and now we get the Brogue inlay color. We're gonna select California Poppy and you're immediately gonna see the inside of the seat become very, very vibrant. Now this is without going all full hog and then using California Poppy for the whole interior contrast stitch, which I think would just be too busy. This, very subtle, elegant, just like Aston Martin's supposed to be. Next, we're gonna choose the roof liner for the inside. And again, to match all the black, we're gonna choose Obsidian Black. Next, we have the option to have the roof liner and head rails and all that fun stuff matched either in Alcantara or plain leather. So in this particular case, we're gonna do plain leather. So that's when you look at the A-pillar on the top and the uh, mirror visors and all that fun stuff. It'll actually be in leather on this car, which will be beautiful. Next, we have the trim inlay. So again, with this very, very stealthy, beautiful, elegant interior, I wanted to make sure that the trim also reflects that. So in this case, we're gonna go with a piano veneer. 
That piano veneer is beautiful. The amount of time that it takes to actually put in each single piece is incredible. And then the sides are gonna be absolutely gorgeous because it's this massive cut of piano veneer that'll go in the entire door frame. Now, there's a new option on the DB11 Volante to have the seat backs matched to the actual veneer on the car. Now, I've thought about this. So, piano veneer is more prone to scuffing and scratching because it is this beautiful shiny material than other, say, satin woods. So being the case, this being on the back of the seats, if you ever actually were to have someone back there, their hands may come into contact with it. So that being the case, we decided to do just leather backs for the seat rests, which I think on this particular example, again, especially because of how vibrant the exterior is, will be perfect. We have the jewelry package on the inside. We have the ability to anodize the interior in a whole host of different aluminums. So, what we've decided to do on this particular car, again, to match everything else, we're going with a dark anodization. So it's gonna look black, beautiful. On more vibrant interiors, we have the ability to contrast. So the steering wheel is the more vibrant selection of color from the rest of the interior. So as an example, if we did a red car, we could do a red steering wheel. If we do an orange car, we could do an orange steering wheel. Pretty neat. Um, but in this case, because again, we're doing obsidian black, we don't have to do anything on this screen. Cabin carpets, we're gonna leave the same. Floor mats, we always choose to have edge binding match to lower environment with the deep pile. So this is a noticeably thicker carpet. So the second you hop inside, it just feels luxurious and really, really supple. Boot carpet, there's an option to have really cool accented boot carpets. So in past we've done brown, we've done red boot carpets to match the interior carpet of the car. But again, because we're doing obsidian black, don't have to worry about anything here. We have seatbelt color options, so we can contrast this. Again, we're gonna go super stealth with the warm charcoal. We get to the seat headrest feature. So this is the ability to have either embossed headrests or embroidered headrests. Now, what I've decided to do here, which is kind of interesting, is do DB11 Aston Martin winged uh, headrests embroidered in black. So what you'll notice when you see the car under direct sunlight is this essentially very, very subtle contrast between the stitch work and the actual leather. However, you'd be hard pressed to notice the Aston Martin. It's kind of like a stealth Aston Martin winged headrest. Very cool. And we have the option for uh, threads in this particular case, because both the thread and the leather are in black. There really won't be much of a difference between those. The next thing we have here is the option, again, for personalized sill plaques. So you can have your signature, your autograph embossed into your own car's tread plates, which is really neat. We have the option for audio. Now, this being the case with the Volante, gotta do the Bang & Olufsen audio system. It is absolutely incredible b &O. We have the option for the upgraded navigation module with touchpad control, which allows us to actually draw in input. Very, very clever. We have custom fitted luggage sets that can be ordered in the same color of leather as your car. I'll leave this one out for later. We have a whole host of parts and uh, accessory packages, which are actually ordered through the dealer's parts department. So I'll also leave these uh, unchecked. We have a whole host of carbon fiber options, which can be ordered later on the vehicles. And again, I'm gonna leave these unchecked because we wanna go with that black trim on the lower section of the car. Couple final things that are available through our parts department. And we finally get to this screen, which is technology. We add all technology in with every DB11 we order. So that means each car will come with blind spot, self parking, and also the newest option, great for the Canadian market, the heated steering wheel. And here we have our final configuration. Beautiful golden saffron Q Custom DB11 Volante. Now, the next step for us, once we've got this configuration, is to build it into our local computer database system, which will populate pricing. All right, so now that we have essentially the idea of what we want to do with this car, we have to build it out into our internal computer system. This is called 180, and it runs on these little Surface tablets that we always have in our scenes. So, we're gonna go into the computer here. First and foremost, we go into this section here, Design Plus, and then we're gonna choose, once it populates the screen, a model year. All of the Volantes are 2019 model year, going into the future, I know. We're gonna choose Aston Martin. Next, we're gonna choose DB11 Coupe. I know this sounds a little bit strange, but we're gonna select Coupe, and then under Coupe, there's gonna be a pop-down for all the different varieties of DB11s, and in here, we're gonna select DB11 Volante. Now, we get this massive screen with all the individual options. You can see it is quite long in length. We're gonna start off with the base price. So DB11 V8 Volante starts at 248,000. 
$975 CAD. Next, we have the color. So moving down to this section here, you can see all those colors that I talked about and one that I kind of hinted at, the satin finish. Satin is by far the most expensive, $20,000 for a paint job. But I will say, because I've seen it in person, there is absolutely nothing like it on any production vehicle anywhere. You can do metallic, fully matte vehicles. Aston Martin is incredible with this. But today, because we chose that incredible golden saffron, we're gonna choose Q Exclusive, which is the second most expensive paint tier color. In this particular case, the option is $12,840. Next, we're gonna select our wheels. So let's go down and have a look at the wheel section here. These are essentially all the codes for those individual wheels. The option that we wanna go with is the 20 inch, the Y spoke forge wheels, gloss black diamond turned. These are a $7,656 option. So we're gonna select that here. You can see that once we've selected all the other options become deselectable. Make it nice and easy for us to configure. Next we have the brake calipers. So we're gonna choose the black ones. And then we have the windscreen surround in gloss black. Again, those black brake calipers, just to go back to that, were 1,914. The windscreen surround in black is also 1,914. Next, we move to the rear, uh, the rear lamps in smoked finish. So we, we call these frosted typically at the dealer, but let's go down to those. We're gonna go back up to the top and talk about leathers. So the obsidian black leather is a contemporary leather. We select contemporary leather here. This is $2,193. We have trim inlay brogue detailing. So you remember we talked about that beautiful brogue. We're gonna go down and select the brogue detailing. Mm -hmm. Trim brogue detailing, here it is, $2,724. We have trim inlay piano black. Trim inlay piano black. $3,228. We have interior jewelry package. Interior jewelry, dark chrome. $1,914. We have heavy pile floor mats. Here, $900. Next we have seating embroidery Aston Martin wings. It's a $900 option. I think that'll look really nice in the car. Next is the convenience umbrella. This is a $354 option. It is an absolutely stunning umbrella and I always configure my Aston Martins with them. So we have to add a couple packages to this to make it just like we had it on the online configurator. The most important of those is the technology package plus, which includes that incredible Bang & Olufsen sound system. I'm gonna add it in here. This particular option comes in at $10,908. Next, we have the comfort package, which comes in at $4,278. And finally, we have the exterior black package, which includes all that incredible ground effects from the, uh, from the exterior, the black grill, and all those beautiful details. That particular package costs $7,656. Lastly, and probably not least, we have to add in the Nexus quilt work, which is gonna be done on the insides of the seats. So now that we've bounced back and forth on this configuration page to get everything in, we have essentially our final build spec of the car. Now, we can see it all here, but there's a much easier way to look at it all, and that is we scroll right down to the bottom and we select continue. And that brings us to this next screen. All right, so now that we have everything in that configuration screen, we hit save and it brings us to this screen here, which shows us a summary of all the things we added, which brings us to the total sum price of 311,978.60 CAD. Once we've added in our freight to get the vehicle here to Canada, it brings us to a total of 321,169.60 plus HST. That is our DB11 Volante. Now we have to hit the order button, submit it into the uh, Aston Martin head office to be built. This vehicle will take quite a few months to actually be manufactured because again, that 300 hour paint job will be close to a month in paint before it will actually be finished. The final outcome is gonna be absolutely stunning. And again, thanks to the power of my fantastic videographer and editing, we can show you that vehicle today.
So here we are, eight months later. It's been a long time waiting up and leading up to this exact moment, but we're super, super ecstatic to have this car here in person. And <laughs> frankly speaking, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much at a loss of words. It's absolutely stunning. That 300 hours that was required to make the paint this exact finish, it looks so much better in person than in the online configurator. The way that the sun hits it, it just makes it outstanding. And it truly is one of a kind. I must say, I'm so much happier with this vehicle in person than even the online configurator when we built it initially. Definitely, the exterior on this car is a bold statement, and it was very well balanced with this exquisitely subtle interior. That small detail of the brogue that goes right down the center seam of the seats and on the armrest really sets the interior off and makes it truly one of a kind. You can also see the subtleties with the headrests, the Aston Martin embroidery in there, and the Nexus quilting and celestial perforation. I'm very, very happy with this. It's probably one of my best works on an automobile. But what do you guys think? Comment in the section below and let us know what your favorite configurations are. Or uh, if you have any questions about this specific car, feel free to either swing by Aston Martin Uptown Toronto or comment below.